Okay, today I am here to teach you guys how to clean your desktop computer. Uh, yeah, here you are. Uh, first, disconnect everything and lay it on the table like this. Alright, you see these cords here and one leads down here. These are the power, uh, the power cords for these two side fans. Now I will disconnect these now. And this one over here might be a pain. And you want to be gentle with this because it's very easy to pull these wires out. Alright, there they are. And as you'll notice here, see all that dust? This computer isn't as bad as some of the computers that I've cleaned, but this one's actually nice because it has these little, uh, these little tiny screens here. And they actually help a lot. Alright, <clears throat> first you're going to want, well, secondly, you're going to want to start taking components out to clean. Alright, we'll start with the video card, the graphics card. There is a Phillips screw here. Unscrew that. Set it aside. And now, there's a little tab right under here. And it's kind of a pain to get to sometimes. So you pull up. Make sure not to pull on any of these little capacitors or anything. Try to apply equal pressure. Pull this little pin out. I don't know if you can see it. And there you go. See? Let it focus. The graphics card isn't that bad, but there is still dust buildup, and this can get much worse, and it can affect your performance. Uh, if components get too hot, they can start running poorly, and the heat is due to the buildup of dust. Alright, secondly, the RAM, and that is your memory. You Both tabs, see this one's open? What you're effectively going to do is this, and I'm going to do that with these here as well. Apply equal pressure, lift up. This one completely clean. That'll be fine. Set that aside. You don't always need to pull these out, but the ones that are closer to the CPU heatsink right here do like to collect dust on the side. This one, that focus, just a little bit has accumulated. See right there. But sometimes it can get much worse. The, the little thing, the little vents on the side of that uh, case really help, even though this is a fairly cheap case. All right, right here, there is a Molex uh, connector connecting your fan to your motherboard. Just lift up on that, and don't pull from the wires. Make sure to pull from the sides of it. All right, just a moment. All right, this next part <coughs> involves taking the, uh, the heat sink for the CPU off, and this can be dangerous um, because, let me see if I can get this up here, you have to apply pressure on this little clamp right here, you have to push down on it. And if you've seen a video for taking or for putting one on, it'll just reverse that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to apply pressure on the top here, which will loosen the clamp a little bit. Uh, you're not going to be able to see, but I'll be able to show you once it's up. There it is. You have to kind of twist, I'll, I'll twist a little bit this way to take the thermal compound off. Alright, what I did was, <clears throat> this clamp here, I pushed down on it to relieve the tension, and then came behind it with a screwdriver and just pushed it out, so <clears throat> it let go of that pin right there. And this is actually pretty dirty. You can't really see, yeah, you can't really see on the inside, but alright, now the, the main components that you need to clean are out. Um, I'll put this aside and come back in a second. Alright, now to start cleaning the graphics card, I have a ear swab, cotton swab, right here. See, this one is actually a pain because you can't get them in there. So effectively, the most you can clean just at home, if you do, you're someone who's not really computer savvy doing this, you can clean the fan blades. And that's just done like this. Just work along the inside, and the inside is where all the dust collects. Like you'll see right there. And that's effectively work along the insides of them, breaking all that dust down, and yeah, just use the same side for this, you'll just go through a whole bunch of these. <clears throat> and then, <clears throat> uh, a lot of people say not to blow on it, and if you're working on a customer's computer, like when I'm doing that, I use canned air, but this is uh, one of mine. And what I do is I just, just <laughs> you can't see the dust, but uh, the reason you're not supposed to blow on it is because you can have some spit on your lips or anything. But I've done this quite a few times, so and it's my computer, so I kind of feel comfortable doing it. If you have canned air at home, 
uh, use it. If you don't, and you have like an air compressor, don't use an air compressor unless you have a moisture trap on it. But unless you're painting cars, you probably won't have one. And you just work along the inside here. Clean the heat sink. That's this aluminum, this casted aluminum piece on the bottom. And I just keep blowing on it and working it out. This right here, if it was clogged with dust, it would slow down performance. Games would slow down because it would be pushing a, a higher Celsius temperature. And that, just work on that. See? There's still a little bit of dust in there. I'm going to work this one through. And be gentle not to pull on the fan or do anything like that. Just be really gentle. Work the inside. There it is. Let's see if it'll focus. In a little bit, I'll work that out before I put it back in. But next is going to be the CPU. And I will stop here and bring the video back up in a moment. Right now we are going to clean the CPU heatsink and the fan. This one is a stock fan that comes with an AMD AM3 type uh, CPU. It could come with the AM2s and the FX. Well, it wouldn't. Uh, it might. I'm not sure. But I've installed quite a few of the AM3 slot processors, and it always comes with these. Okay. See the little clamps there <clears throat> and there. Those are what you got to pull up, and you got to be careful not to break them. If you do. Uh, you can always super glue it and just pull it off later. <laughs> uh, but there's lots of things you can do. You can, you would be good with these other clamps if you only break one. What you do is just apply a little bit of pressure and just lift up at the same time. Let me see if I can get that better. There, that little click is the sound of it coming up. And now with the other side, just apply a little bit of pressure with the side of your screwdriver, and there it goes. And look at that inside. Yeah. They get pretty bad. And with this, um, I use 99% isopropic alcohol, rubbing alcohol, most of the time. But I'm not going to use that in this video. I'm just going to be using these. It's This is just in case. I use that because I've worked with computers long enough to where I know I'm not going to mess them up. And if I do, I can fix it. So I don't want anybody working with any kind of liquid, even if it's alcohol. But these right here will work just fine. See what I'm doing? Just brushing along these little pieces of metal working along and what I do is just blow from right here you know I'll actually do it on camera so you guys can see this oh damn it's not coming out yeah you can't really see it in the camera but yeah you just like there's some here try not to bend these but you can go like this as brush against them to get those little bits of dust out And honestly, that heat sink is pretty much clean now. It, uh, if I was working on a customer's computer doing a cleaning, it would be a lot more. And you also, these heat pipes also collect dust. You want to get them down. And do try not to mess with this at all. Let's see if it'll... There it is. This is the thermal compound that transfers the heat from the, uh, your CPU, your processor, to this copper block. And you don't... Uh, I actually did set it here, and there's a little... You can see a little bit right there, but out there. But I'm just going to... It should be fine. And if not, I will just apply some more later. And now to the fan. This fan's a little bit nicer because you can hold it from the bottom. And like I was talking about with the graphics card, yeah, there it is. The bottom collects the most. And these... Yeah, that one's getting full. Relatively simple to clean. Uh, alcohol? I'd say you can use alcohol on this. If you wanted. Uh, you don't really run the risk of hurting anything. Just make sure it is all evaporated. Give it a good 10 minutes before you put it back in your computer. And make sure it's a high percent, not a 50% or anything, because a 50% just, for one, it can leave a residue, and it's not enough percent to evaporate as quickly as you want it to. All right, just working around right here. This video is going to be lengthy, so you might just want to click through it and get to the part that you need. I think this might push 11 minutes. That's why I'm kind of doing a rush job. But with yours, take a, take a little bit longer, be a little bit more precise. Okay, let me clear all this dust off. Okay, there you go. Lock cleaner. And I put it back on. Simple as. Placing it right here. Nope. Oh, this might happen to you.
Make sure you push these wires back into that little hole for them. There it is. It's back on. Alright, another thing can become clogged with dust very easily is your power source. To pull it out, I'm not going to do it in this video. To pull it out, one, two, three, four. There's always four screws. Don't unscrew these ones here because that's all internal. You don't want to do that. Unscrew those. <clears throat> There's a little bit of cable management, which meaning I ran the cable behind all this and I really don't want to pull it out. But there is a little bit of dust build up along there. But yeah, you pull it out, you blow it out. Try to use canned air if you're going to blow one of these out because you do not want any moisture in there whatsoever. Um, your hard drives aren't really going to collect dust unless you have a front, uh, a fan in the front here. And this one does not. So you really don't have to worry about that. There also is a little bit of dust buildup along that RAM slot. But it's fine. I just got it all off right there. All right. And yeah, I think that's everything. Um, I'm going to throw it back together real quick and I'll shoot it right after that. All right, I am dumping it back together and I did clean these off off camera. I forgot all about them and they are clean now. Uh, for these, you take these four screws on each one out, pull this off, support the back because these will fall, and just pull them off and clean the little screen and clean the fan just like I showed you to do with the other fans. Um, this is new for me doing these videos, so I may, I may have talked too fast. Uh, a lot of people, there's almost anyone that works on computers has different ways of doing things. And eh, I've been working on computers for a little over eight years now. So I have my way of doing things. Some people may say this is wrong or different. But I've never, once in all of working on computers, had a, a problem while cleaning them. Um, a lot of people might wear these anti-static bands that go here and connect to the side of the case so you ground yourself to the case. I've never done it. Well, I've had them before. I've never had an issue with not having them. Uh, it could happen one day, it's true. And pulling your computer apart, you are taking the risk of breaking something. And that just you just need to be aware of that. But besides that, this is pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Don't jam your screwdriver to the motherboard and just try and be try and be safe as you can. And always make sure it's completely unplugged before doing this. Um, that's it. If you liked this video, I'll just put the side panel on. If you like this video, uh, maybe sub, and if there's anything I didn't cover, leave it in the comments. I can always uh, respond to that and tell you guys what to do. Uh, and besides that, I think that's it. All right, everybody, have a nice night.